Alright, what is up you guys? We're going up against Flavio in a team that looks very much in-game. And um, in lack of time, I'm actually going to take this challenge. Um, and it's a bit unfortunate, but I work a lot of late nights, which means I'm going to battle in the morning. Um, which usually means I'm not able to um, get into the games I want to. That said, Infernape lead, level 49. I want to bring. I want to give this guy on a chance, so I'm actually going to just get the self rocks, and if he kills me, so be it. Um, this game is not about Yurashi after all. I think I already have that game. Oh, fire spin! You know what? Since I'm since I'm scarf, this is actually kind of unfortunate. This could not have gone worse. Um, God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Actually, nicely done. Um, okay. Dude. Dude. This is... This is so demeaning. Um, it's alright. I'm gonna fall to an in-game inferno abusing dig against me. That's... Um, Dig and fast spin is what brought down this guy. Um, I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. I am. I am not enjoying his. Um, what do you call it? Wi-Fi at all. Um, <clears throat> that said, though, I should be able to. Um, Capitalize on this a little bit. He shouldn't have any move that kills me. I'm just gonna go for a quake. I should be able to not outspeed, by the way. He should be faster. He does so withdraw. I think that's fair enough. Goes into Jaros. Oh, yeah. I remember. Intimidate? Yeah. Ah, that's not gonna work for me. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Okay, this this Wi-Fi that he's running is going to definitely annoy me. Um what we need now is Warren? No? I don't really want to bring in this guy, but it's probably waiting on that one. So right. If he has Dragon Dance, I mean that would be unfortunate, but I don't believe he can do a whole lot versus a Wolverine. Waterfall, please. That's not gonna happen, bro. Not happening. Like I said, if... Or, I said in another video where I was recording that it would be nice if uh, the ice body ability, um, besides, you know, recovering HP, which it does, actually worked as a Aurora Veil. I think... I think that would have been a tremendous asset to have, like... Basically, or it works something like Filter. In rain or inhale, it works like filter. That would have been tremendously awesome, really. Right? You feeling me on this one? I think that would, have, you know, capitalize on usability on uh, and like, well, most of the um, of the guys really of the guys you you really really are making English work here for you. Um, what I'm trying to say is that would have been just nice to see. Um, those kind of like ice I, th I think ice types need buffs again i think they need to have a cater buff like not veil and stuff like that that kind of you know boost it that's what what this this anyway it's not gonna kill me right no so i'm gonna go and endure on the off chance he's doing something weird shockwave is not gonna do it endure Volt switch. And it won't bring me down either. <laughs> well. Did it at least pop my berry? No. No, it didn't. To back to the back to this. Alright. Slow ass game right now. Hard to enjoy. Like, shouldn't the berry pop? around 25%? Am I missing something? 
Do I just manage to not be 25% here? I guess so. I guess so. Um, this is gonna go for waterfall again. Sending in Warren. I mean, why not, right? That's uh, that's the mon of choice. I want Hitmonlee to come in for free, but I think my opponent just gets unwillingly every, everything right, and I can't help feeling it just it just makes it better. I feel like I'm struggling getting into position to wrap up the game, which is um, not my intention whatsoever. <laughs> well, I hope my opponent is enjoying himself. Flavio, I mean, that's a name. Like, I mean, that's a really great name, but I didn't mean like, oh, what a weird-ass name. I actually mean it's a really cool nickname. Definitely using Flavio in the future. You wouldn't bring in Luxray. Yeah, God of War. Uh, that's that's a mon. That's a mon we want to sleep, right? Gonna trace my thick fat, yeah. You ever seen a uh, God of War with thick fat? I know some of you guys are looking for that stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm don't judge anybody except for you guys who look for you no know, thick fat God of War. Um, but yeah. Um, this Wi-Fi is killing me. I, that's the first time I'm saying that, but. I don't have a solid switch in for God of War. I, I cannot realize that. Here's the thing. I want him to go for anything but Shockwave. If not, Hitmonlee is going to cut it. At least let Butterfree do it. Dazzling Lean. You know what? That's going to hurt. But I am designed with this in mind, young lad. I am the most trolling Butterfree set there is. And I can get abuse every second of it. Maybe. Possibly. The thing is, I saw this Vivlion set back in Generation 9 with, you know, Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, Substitute, and I just couldn't get enough of it. It was so... not clever, I shouldn't say, but it just... It worked for all the wrong reasons, and I, I just couldn't... Just gonna stop appreciate it for that. Um, while it isn't like the bulkiest mon around or in Butterfree's environment, definitely not at all. Um, and it doesn't have a special attack, it lacks Hurricane, at least for this generation. Uh, what it does do is annoy people enough just to have to attack it. And when you have the opportunity of outspeeding them in Sleep Powder, then you have like a very tough set to deal with with compound eyes. That said, though, um, I'm gonna try to stay as faithful as possible to. Um, he breaks my sub, right? I oh, got a crit. I was like, where is it? Where is the sub faded text? Um, do I want to go for another one? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, but like I said, in anything goes, this set can just reset. The sleep. But if if you have speed and you have 100% accurate sleep powders, then you are in trouble. Um, I can't get enough of that type of set because the only thing that like, beats it are extreme speeds, and that is if you sack them on to extreme speed it. Granted, you have speed and not get a sleep. That also means if you survive the sleep powder and you're able to. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, if you get the sleep powder. And uh, or to break the sub, but you get the sleep powder. You can just resub and attack again, and you're still behind a sub. And the leftovers will cover the rest. And I can't really say more than I think it's a solid, nasty set. And you know the worst part is, Infernape is not gonna cut it. It is, um, it is dead by default. Didn't mean to it, but I'm pretty sure this is game. If God War comes in, I'll just get myself back to sleep. Be gone! <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair though, I realize. No, it's still an in-game team. But I think it did. My opponent here, Flavio, did actually a great job of keeping me not in position to get a sweep. I mean... Consider everything I did to get into this position. It took me 10 minutes. That That's not a bad feat to actually accomplish. With an in-game team, I mean. Alright. I think my opponent just 
trying to reposition it. Like, what can I do to stop this from happening? And the answer is not a lot. I want to see if Shockwave does break my sub or if he goes on Volt Switch again. Um, it did, however, do a whole lot of damage. So at plus two, I might actually not be in a Thunder Shock. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. This is it. Volt Switch, Shockwave, Thunder Shock. Yeah, dude. Dude, I'm sorry. I really am. That is Butterfree Surf now. And you know what? If anything, I think my phone is going to have a very, very interesting kind of wake up call on this. Thinking about, you know, how how did a Butterfree defeat me? How how did all of this come into place? Maybe. I know I had that opportunity. Like, you know, in Generation 6 when Cliff Key was really popular? I actually decided to go with the free versus free meta just to uh, try that one out and with the swagger and foul play and I got beaten by an own tempo avalog because it didn't get confused and I was so like I couldn't understand why it wasn't working even more so it clearly was catered to actually um, capitalize on that type of mistake and retaliate with an earthquake look i don't even kill butterfree you're absolute oh ho, 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 ho. i was gonna say shit but hey there she goes there she goes i think my opponent is having an awful time right now <laughs> i'm just seeing like oh my god what is happening <laughs> why can't i stop this freaking round one bug <laughs> it's not a route one bug though, is it? Doesn't matter. I'm just glad it works. I'm glad I did round compound eyes instead of um, of tinted lens. Like tinted lens is great, but I, like I said, I really like those close to 100% accurate sleep powders. It just makes makes the decision of my opponent so much worse somewhat that I am guarantee on the reposition to actually get it right and I I can't stress that enough how awesome that is but I think my opponent should forfeit right not that I want it to happen rather like if I were in this scenario I probably just said fuck it they got me what else can I do just give it up or maybe I'll actually let them showcase, now that I think about it. By the way guys, what do you think about this type of set with Butterfree? I mean, I'm in a position where I probably don't need to make any like, strong play. Whatever that, is, whatever, that, whatever that means. But, like, I've looked at a lot of Tempt 6 lately. And uh, he used a lot of, like, first turn get up to get a sweep going. And a lot of it involves, um, well bit of um i would say lack of knowledge by the way i do lose the game by default but over sleep powder i just want to showcase that i can be that annoying um but he does use a lot of like um setup in capitalization with the veils or light screens and then he has a mod that can just annoy people he also uses a lot of like uh endeavor level one sturdy mods that are definitely not annoying um but i think these types of sets do speed up the game quite a lot if you get yourself into a position which actually might not be that easy every time and um, but i still think this works quite well um but i also know that eh, for this game specifically it might actually be looking quite boring but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway um and like i said what do you think about this type of like quiver dance substitute one one move basically to cover it I know Venomoth can run something like this too, and probably does it a bit better. The only reason Butterfree has an edge is because it does have compound eyes to capitalize on uh, on the sleep powders. Besides that, like Venomoth has everything going for it to make sure it absolutely works. But yeah, sleep is a very very powerful status. I mean, free setup, yeah. 
that, that's a problem. Right, the free setup is just... It's too nasty to really get off to. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this team. I hope you enjoyed this game. And even if it's an EM team, I still think I got a fair showcase. I feel a bit... You know, peed about my opponent for losing. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this game. I'll see you guys next video. Till then, take care of all right. <laughs>